Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. A couple of weeks ago I had a very rare thing in the UK which was a surprise clear night. So in a bit of a rush I decided to run outside, set my telescope up and capture some data on the Rosette Nebula. So join me in this video while I show you what I was able to capture. So like I said, tonight is a completely surprise clear night. It's been pouring with rain all day and really cloudy and all the forecast said that it wasn't going to be clear tonight. And then I came outside, looked up and there wasn't a cloud in the sky. I rechecked the forecast and they'd all changed to <laughs> clear into about two o'clock. So what I thought I would do is run out, put the telescope on the mount and try and capture some data. Okay, so that was so frantic that I am sure I have forgotten something, but the scope is outside. I've just started my auto run so hopefully um, I might get something tonight um, who knows it's worth uh, worth taking a risk anyway I don't think there's going to be any rain some of the forecasts are now saying clouds some are saying clear so I'm not sure whether it'll be the best data ever but still a bit of fun to be outside capturing images anyway and uh, anything to get me out of watching the mass singer with my wife um, but anyway I'm going for five minute subs and I've kept that quite short because I'm not sure how much cloud will go over so the if I extend that too long if I go for seven ten minute subs it's more chance that they're going to get ruined by the cloud so I've gone five minute subs like I said I've got the L Extreme filter in there it's a filter that I only picked up on Facebook marketplace um, about a couple of months ago now um, and it's only the second time I've ever used it so I don't have a lot of experience with um, exposures and settings etc um, so I've just gone for my my standard five minutes gain set to 100 camera cooled at, uh, at minus 20 and we'll see what we can get. I've set up a time lapse so I will see how much cloud does go over um, but yeah I'm just going to let it run, let it track um, the Rosette Nebula all night and uh, see what I get and I'll, I'll record the first sub popping up so you'll be able to see that in a minute as well. Okay, so on that surprise clear night, I was really pleased to be able to capture three hours, 20 minutes of data on the Rosette Nebula. So hadn't planned to shoot that this year, um, but with the uh, the surprise clear night, I thought I would give it a go. Um, and this was the, uh, the data that I managed to capture. So this is just um, stacked in APP and then just a screen tra transfer, so no editing done to this data. Um, there were no flats or no calibration frames added because I was in a bit of a rush the next morning and I didn't get around to taking any. Um, there also was quite a bright moon, uh, which you might have seen in one of the, the earlier video clips, but that um, probably caused this gradient, which you can see running across the, uh, across the, the frame. But I was pretty happy with this data. Um, I think it looked quite good for, for such a short exposure time. Um, and I was able to pull out quite a bit of detail. So I'll show you the, the edited image now. So this is what I um, edited that data to, um, and I quite like it. I know the colors are quite uh, bright, but I, I quite like the detail in there, in the reds and the blues there, and the, the dark nebula running across. Um, so I was pretty happy with this. Um, then what I decided to do was follow Luke's tutorial from Luco Matico. Um, so I'm sure you will follow him on, uh, on YouTube, but he did an excellent tutorial about how to take data from a one-shot color camera and change that into a Hubble palette looking image. So I followed that tutorial, it was fantastic. Um, I followed it step by step and created a second image with this data. So I will show you that now. 
Okay, so this is the Hubble palette looking image that I created using Luke's tutorial and I'll definitely put a link to that in the description below. It's absolutely fantastic um, and it gives you a step-by-step -step guide about how you can create this type of image from a one-shot color camera. Um, so thanks for putting that together, Luke. Um, so basically, I'll give you a really quick overview. You use the same data that you capture with the one-shot color camera. You then split the channels. So you split the the red, green, and blue um, channels, and you actually create a new green channel and a new blue channel by um, using pixel math and um, mapping um, half the red and the green and the blue together, etc. But like I said, I'm not going to give you a, a, a detailed overview about how to do that because Luke has already done that. But it, um, what that allows you to do is then um, accentuate the different colors and map it again back so it looks like a Hubble palette image and I think it looks absolutely fantastic for just um, three hours 20 minutes worth of data I think I was able to pull out quite a bit of detail and I really like this approach of editing um, I think it's uh, I prefer this this image to the previous one but um, let me know what you guys prefer in the comments below and what I'll do now is I'll put both of those images up a full screen so you can take another look at them um, thank you so much for watching please let me know which you prefer in the comments below if you haven't subscribed yet please consider doing so it would really help out the channel and I will see you in the next video